Hello my little butterflies and today I'm going to be doing my review on the Bells by Diane Clayton. So guys, I read the Bells in February. I gave it four stars. I really enjoyed this book. Like this was like what still is. It's one of my favorites that I've read this year and it might be it, it might be one of my top favorites like ever. Like it will go on my list as my top favorite. Um, this came out in February. I had an ER copy from NetGalley and Disney High Period in exchange for my honest review. I posted a review to my blog already, but I just still wanted to come out and do a video review for it because I feel like that's the whole purpose of me getting NetGalley is to do video reviews. But anyway, here it is. So first of all, the world. I want to talk about the world building. The Bell World was so beautiful. I just thought it was something about it that made it so beautiful. Now, don't get me wrong. I wouldn't want to live there. It wasn't ideal. <laughs> But I didn't want to deal with all of that. Like, it was way too much going on. But it was a very beautiful world. Just the way that it was set up. The amount of imagery that Danielle Clayton used when she wrote the book was just so beautiful. Like, you can really close your eyes and just imagine yourself being there. You can see it just from reading her, wor her words. And I think that's something very important in the fantasy novel is being able to use that imagery and be able to describe things that we can't see so we can picture the same thing that you're picturing in your head otherwise then it's like it's not going to have the same effect especially with a book like this that's really depending on the world just as much as it's depending on the characters to actually make it now sometimes certain parts of the book i did feel like drifted into the overkill zone for the amount of imagery sometimes i was just like okay that's way too much i didn't need all of that just to describe that like sometimes I felt like it would be a coke bottle and she would be saying she would go into great detail with the coke bottle not if the coke bottle was in it and just using it as an example say it was a coke bottle and she was like the coke bottle it was black and brown and it seems just like death was wrapped up in it and it was just and it sparkled like magical unicorn poop and crystals like you know like sometimes it just felt like it was a little bit much and they're like okay that's too much we need to drop it down just, just a little bit okay not the whole book just certain areas but at the same time she did such a great job with it it really makes you wonder how creepy it would be to really live in a world where people really came out looking like the uh, the Gris. The Gris, if that's how you say the name, like the when you first come out in the Bell World, you're gray, okay? And I just was like, eh, no, not not feeling it. I really, I really loved all the time that she took to actually, I really loved, I really loved all the world building and the character building and I just feel like that she took that much time to do that that it made the story kind of take off a little slower than it should have took off so that was something that I had to take I had to take points away from because I'm like yeah the story did take off a little slow because of all the building up the background and stuff like that but the background was done so amazingly I thought the story of how the bells came to be I thought it was really cute and really kind of like Native American-y like you know when the Native Americans tell tales of how the world came and stuff like that I was just really wrapped up in and I was just like yeah I really I like I like how they sound like that how you give me of how this happened it's just not well here we are we were born like that and bloop you gave me a background so I really enjoyed that also telling that story of how the bells came to be I thought that was a good way to really start the book off because we started off in such a light-hearted manner and then gradually got to the heavy stuff it wasn't just dropped right into drama and nothing's wrong with that but for this book I like that it was eased into that you kind of feel the build up of the tension and I really enjoyed that character wise I'm glad how she handled the older bells that we kind of just glanced over them we didn't need to go individually and give them each a story and you know get to know them like that because they weren't a big part of the story they weren't really a part of the story so I'm glad that how she handled it we just kind of glanced over them like this is her this is this person this is whatever her name is I like that we just glanced over that and kept it moving and we didn't stop because that would have made the story drag on way too long that would need to be for characters that we weren't going to see them now Camilla is definitely a love hate character as in you can really really you love her because you can relate to her and she's like down to earth and you can like really see yourself in her but then you hate her for the exact same reason because then you can judge her for then you sit here and you just judge her like why do that you're so stupid why are you making these dumb decisions but at the same time you love her because like you can see yourself in her but at the same time you judge her for the same reasons you love her my favorite character just i don't know if anybody else is like this but my favorite character out of everybody 100 percent was remy i don't know if that's how you say his name but he's gonna be remy to me he's definitely fictional boyfriend fictional husband material i loved me some remy reading this book i would just head over heels with him i could have cared less 
about loving Camilla. I just love Remy. I was like, I like him. He's, I like him. He's big. And to be honest, I don't even know if my attention was supposed to be drawn to him, but it was. And I was just, every time he showed up, I was like, look at Remy. He's in the room. Like, okay. The last character I'm going to talk about, I'm not even going to go into detail about it, is Princess Sophie. And I just feel like being in her practice is like walking on nails. Like you would step on the nail and then hold your breath, try not to breathe too hard because it might piss her off. So I'm just gonna leave that about that. It's like you never know what Princess Sophie you were gonna get. And I was just like, oh, like it's like I hated her more than I hated Evangeline for Red Queen. Y'all know I hate Evangeline, okay? But I really I hated her more. So I was just like, oh my god, it's just crazy. Like that's how I was reading the book every time. Every time we got to a part where her name was said, I was like, oh shit, what's about to happen? I really legit hated reading this and seeing the girls be slaves the whole time and be treated more like objects than as human beings. Like they were never treated like people. They were always the bells. They, the bells were never treated like people. They were always treated like they were just objects to pass on and use and legit be slaves. And oh, you can't do what you want to do. You're, you're my property and you're you're gonna live here for the rest of your life and this is what you're gonna do or you don't have a say so and your life depends on it and i just felt so bad i hated it but not like oh my god i wish it wasn't in the book i hated it as in like i felt for them i was like damn i feel really bad like i had that emotional connection to them so i like that it was in the story like that but i hated that they did never had a choice like you know i just always felt from like damn like they will never get to experience this and experience that I'm like, oh god, that really sucks. So it's like, yeah, cue the flashback to slavery times. It's just, it's like, damn, that's deep. Like, damn, damn, Danielle, that was deep, girl. That was deep. Like, I felt that. I don't know if y'all felt that, but I felt that. Then the betrayal people at the end were so real. It's like, I knew it was coming. It's like, you can see it coming, but it's like, I seen it coming from the beginning, but then with everything going on, it really slipped my mind. So she made me forget, Danielle, you made us forget. Cause it's like, you can see it. And then she like started doing a whole bunch of other stuff and it made you forget about that. And then it came back to bite you in the ass. And I was like, oh my God, like it was so real. It was so, so cutthroat. And it really hurt actually to see it play out because I was kind of, you know, you kind of hope that that's not really what's going to happen. But whatever, it is what it is. I really just love the com the climax at the end so much. It was just so much going on and so much action. Y'all know I love action packs. The climax was so true. Like, I loved all the action. It had my heart beating. I really feel like I could not breathe until I closed the book at the last page. I was just like, God, that was good. And I just, I just cannot wait for book two. Like, I'm really going to go and buy the bell so I can physically have it on my shelf. So I can physically buy the second book and I can just have the series. I just hope the second book is as good or better than the first book. And I just... Oh God, y'all, like it was so freaking amazing. Now, I never do this. Usually my reviews are always spoiler free, correct? But I just, oh, I had some spoilery things I just wanted to talk about and I needed to get it out. So this is gonna be a spoiler section. If you haven't read it, you might not want to continue on, you know? So if you want to read it and you haven't read it yet, this might be the end for you. Thank you for stopping by. I will see y'all later, but this is for all of my people that have read this book and y'all can discuss this with me because I just had to talk about it. So... First of all, I just, I really expected the queen to be the evil one. I expected her to be the, the, the evil, nasty one. I did not expect to get female Michael Myers from Sophie, like from Princess Sophie. Like I just really was not expecting that. Hey, I was just like, this bitch is really crazy. Like, how? Like, why didn't they do something about this? Like, she's really crazy though. Like the whole time reading this, like female Michael Myers, like, like that, y'all. And like, just like I was talking about earlier with like the, 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 the bells being slaves, like did y'all peek those messages? Like those, those subtle hidden messages, you know, the whole slavery thing and the big message was like, you know, beauty hurts. Like, that's a price to pay. People pay that shit for, like, people die over there. Like, it's that serious. People die to look, to look what they feel like is beautiful. Like, they will go that length. It, it's that serious. They will go to, they will look, they would go that length to be casket sharp. They don't care. They just want whatever they, in their mind, is beautiful. And it's not them. They just keep going and keep going and keep going. Beauty hurts and it kills. Like, it's serious. It's serious out here to people. Me, I, I, I don't care. Like, I, 
it is what it is for me. Then y'all, oh my god, like I seriously, I almost died when the king's nephew, is his nephew? When the king's nephew bought up, uh, well, when he tried to rape Camilla and I was like, oh my god, like I, I was not expecting that in this book. I was not expecting that, like I really almost died. And then what made it worse, he bought up Adele, had me thinking that Adele was dead. And I was like, oh my god, no, did it kill little Adele? I was like, no, I was, I was like really in this book like this like my heart was I was like no like I was not expecting that that had me standing up after that I was like oh no I know you're I like I know he's not about to do this I, I was just at a whole nother level y'all was blown away I wasn't expecting that did that take y'all off like did that did they get on y'all too like did that knock y'all off y'all rockers did that really like surprise like it did me because me I wasn't expecting that that's just not something I was expecting in this book like coming to read it I was just like that's not one of the things I was expecting to get out of this and I was just like ah uh, I was just so full of emotion at the end of this book y'all like so full of emotion I just I really like how it ended though. I really like how it ended up. I'm excited to see where it's going to go from here to book two and to see what book two is going to do with all of this. Like how is everything going to work out? Did the queen get out with um, the other princess? I can't remember her name. I can't remember her name. I'm sorry y'all. I read this in February. I can't. She was sleep the whole book. Shit. I can't remember her name but I just. God, I'm, I'm anxious to see what happened with all of that. Like they get out. Like what happened. Princess Charlotte I think was her name. Yes. Yes, that's her name. I, I just, I can't, I, I'm excited to see where book two is going to take me. Like, that's definitely going to be my anticipated book for next year. If it comes out next year. I hope it comes out next year. Like, I'm booked up and excited. Are y'all ready with me? Like, let's talk about this. Like, I'm just blown away. Like, ah, at the end of the book, this is me. At the end of the book, couldn't even get it together. I was just like, what just happened? Like, that's how I was. So, um. We're going to cut it right here before things get serious. So, yes, thank y'all for watching this video on the bells. Let me know down in the comments if y'all read the book, if y'all want to read the book. What were your thoughts? Let's talk. Let's talk about it. Let's get it popping. All right? Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And I will see y'all next time. Bye.